Good afternoon. I'm Skull. Welcome back to channel and welcome back to FS News. Hey, it's Tuesday, so that means we are back with a news day. Finally back from my little trip, and I got a lot of news to catch up on today. Today, we'll be going over a tease from Giants themselves for Farming Summit 25, plus some news on the John Deere Hillco series. Now, for today, so far the time recording, there is no test and list. If one does come out, it will be posted on the club's Discord. Link to the club's Discord is down in the description, so don't forget to join that. Question of the day. What harvester do you wish was on the mod hub? Mine 100% is the Gleaner, which good thing is it will be coming out pretty soon to the mod up. Okay, let's start this week off strong with a 400 like video. So remember, before we get to the news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Roll that intro. Let's get to the news. Walking back, and let's get to that first piece of news for today, and it is actually from Giants themselves. Of course, Farming Simulator 25 will be coming out November 12th, and if you guys are interested in pre-ordering it, the club's affiliate link is down in the description, guys. It doesn't cost any extra, it just helps out the club. That is only if you are on PC. But anyways, let's get back to this news right here. Uh, let's see, forecast weather ship. So this is what they posted right here. So the big thing in FS22, we didn't have like, you know, different kinds of rain we didn't have hail we don't have like you know lightning or anything like that maybe finally we can actually have different kind of weather patterns actually in farming similar to 25 keep your fingers crossed and hopefully this is just a tease of what's to come now let's get to some farming similar 22 news and this is actually from jhhg modding the john deere hillco s series uh, welcome to the first true working hillside combine project in Farming Simulator Game 22 and soon will be coming to FS25. The Hillco is about 27% and 18% leveling systems included in their iconic John Deere S series combine project for Farming Simulator Game soon available for all platform players in the mod up. Uh, let's see, you have automatic or manual, which mouse controller, IC, leveling control of the combine, header, attacher, and access. Uh, it will follow the ground effect. It'll have a one on one leveling system models with all details, decal, side, dashboard monitors, and all that. It will also have realistic configurations. So I'm actually really excited for this John Deere right here. Then, into that, got some news from 4D Modding, his Smithfield Master work in progress coming soon to Farming Simulator 22. They originally created the Super Cube 2 and 3 axle in FS19, and these are also being remodeled from the ground up. The two axle model is completed and hoping to make a start on the 3 axle this week. Uh, doesn't say if this is going to be coming to all platforms or not. Then we got some news from Carl TG Modding about, of course, his new map, the Majestic Forest. But anyways, this is what he's been working on. Uh, there is not much to show right now, but here are some images of the couple of the lake surroundings and high voltage poles. Uh, he is still working on the farmhouse area, but it's looking really good. Then, even though we haven't got a testing list, we actually got some some news from modders about what they have like sent off to testing and what's actually pending testing. As you see from Matt Trucker 921, he has the JD Grapple Bucket, the Eastern North Carolina USA update, the Reaper 2000 Harvester update, the Kinsey 4900 Multi Planter Pack update, and of course the 40 Lizard Flatbed Auto Loading, which has actually been testing for three days right there. And then also we got some news from Mappers Paradise. Millennial Farms PC version has been sent off to testing. And of course the MF Farms, which is the console version, has also been sent off to testing. And hopefully, hopefully those pass the first time, but patience. Now let's get to some tractor news. First one is actually from Dense. This is about his John Deere 9R series 2015 to through 2020. Uh, let's see, this will be an all platform mod. There will be EU and US. The still tanks are now officially completed. There are scaled one by one and the model is one by one correct. No in provisions. There is so much work left to be done, but STX Farms and him are working full speed on it. What matters the most is that at the end, you will have the best 9R in your mod folders. Also, one cool option that he actually added is that you will be able to actually extend, unfold your warning signs on both versions. So pretty cool right there. Now let's get to the last piece of news for today. It's actually from Case Aries modding his Steiger STX series, which will be coming to all platforms too, which will be either coming to FS22 or FS25. He didn't actually, uh, actually say for certain yet. 
says they have made more progress on the Steiger large frame, new hood, and more details. The Quadtrek will be coming too, as well as a small frame series, but they need patience. This model will include the larger tractor like the 530 and the 535 with a slightly wider hood and other models like the 385 and 450, which have somewhat thinner hoods, but they all share the frame. And this will be coming to all platforms, like I said. And there you have it for today. There was all the news. Not bad for a Tuesday. Uh, today's schedule, we do have a live stream. We are back at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So hopefully I see every single one of you guys in there. Like always, if you guys did enjoy the video, a like would be appreciated. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. We're pulling closer and closer to that 100,000 sub mark. Well, anyways, see you guys tonight. Peace. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that